Hi friends, my name is Amanda Barb. I talk about faith and I talk about mental health. And today I'm bringing you a very encouraging, a very hopeful word that I'm praying will bless your heart. Again, everything I share with you, please take to the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit to confirm it to you, to share with you what he wants you to have and test everything that I share with you against the word of God. Test every spirit that speaks, right? We want to hear from the Holy Spirit, but we don't want to hear from any other spirit. Some people speak through the Holy Spirit, but sometimes they speak through wounds within them and they share things that are not of the Lord or they speak hearing another spirit. Anyways, off that tangent, I'm going to be reading to you this prophetic word because it's so beautiful. I wrote it out and I think that if I read it, I will stay on point and not over talk or over explain myself, which I often do because I teach and teachers often over explain themselves. So I'm gonna get focused here. So the word, the main word for this message here on this video is get your house in order. Get your house in order. So for the past few weeks, something's been put on my heart by the Holy Spirit and I felt this compelling need to just reorganize my spaces, reorganize my home, which is very bizarre because we are about to move this summer into a new home that we're building. We're building a shipping container home. If you've heard about that, it's a real thing and we're doing that. So it doesn't make sense for me to reorganize spaces in my home when, when I know in like a couple of months I'm, I am about to pack everything up and we're gonna be moving and decluttering even more because we're gonna be moving into a tinier space. However, I just felt the need to do it and so I did. I responded to the Lord. I knew it was him. I knew it was him. And I felt good about it. When your home is organized and in order, you feel good. You feel ready for something new to come, right? You feel ready for something new to come. After he asked me to reorganize the spaces in my home, then he was like, now I want you to relook at your schedule and I want you to remove certain things off your plate so that you can be ready for new things to come that you could be ready for new things to come. It was very clear, it was very, very intense, and I said, okay. Um, and I've been doing this this spring, trying to think, okay, what do I need to continue to do? What do I need to let go of? What is priority right now for the Lord in my life? And what is no longer priority? It doesn't mean I don't wanna do these things, it just means that there are things that he wants me to do that I can't juggle everything. And I've been burnt out more than once, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take heed when the when the Lord says remove some things off your plate. I'm gonna do that. So if you feel that in your own life, if you feel that in your heart, if you feel this like restructuring of your schedule, restructuring of your time, where the Lord is asking you to take some things off your plate because He's preparing for something new to come, follow through with it. Be obedient because you don't want to be juggling something that over here is just a people pleasing thing and over here is a God pleasing thing. You want everything on your plate to be a God pleasing thing. If we, I, okay, I'm not gonna go on that tangent. We need to be pleasing the Lord first in our lives. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna go into a teaching, <laughs> teaching mode here. Um, so after I reorganized all of my spaces and then I heard the Lord instruct me to remove some of the things off of my plate, I did that. Um, and then he started saying that you need to get ready for the new. I recognize that after I did all of that in, in obedience, and then the Lord told me to re, you know, restructure my schedule and my time, he's speaking so clearly into my heart and my spirit, and I'm praying that he does the same for you, that he's doing something in the, in the spirit realm, but it was manifesting in my life where I was actually organizing spaces in my home that was this is how the Lord talks to me I will I will things will I will do things that I'm led to do by the Lord and then he will give me understanding about what I'm doing either within it or before it or after it but this in this instance I just was like I need to organize my spaces why and the Lord was like because I'm working in you this clearing out okay let me get to that hold on I'm like way ahead of myself um, let me find where I'm at. First of all, I want to say, if you are feeling a restructuring with your time or even your spaces, your systems that you have in place for work life, for personal life, I truly believe and hear the Lord say that he's preparing you and me for new things that will take place this summer. For me, he told me to be ready by the month of May. He just told me, be ready by May. 
which is in a few days. So I've been working really hard to get ready. Like I, like I've been like, okay, what are, what's my new schedule? What's my new systems in place to be organized? All this kind of thing. So I, I feel ready. I've made time in my week that's more flexible so that I can add things in. Some of the new things coming, I believe that we are aware of, um, and we've been planning for, and some of them, some of these things are hidden until they come. That's the thing that's exciting. Some of these things are hidden until they come. I also heard the Lord say to me very clearly, I was in prayer on the way to a meeting um, last week, a, a really cool meeting, and I heard the Lord say with intense joy to me, and I really feel like that it's it's just, it's 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 a broad thing. It's not just for me personally. I feel like it's for the church. That summer is coming. Okay, yeah, we know summer is coming. But the way he said it, the way he said it, it it's not about the physical manifestation of summer. There's something in, in the spirit realm that summer is coming. He said this with such excitement. He said this with such, so much joy. And he was just like, like, he was like, I'm excited to tell you this. Summer is coming. Get ready. Get yourself ready. Be in expectation. Be hopeful because summer is coming. So I just felt this joy and joy and excitement. I will be honest with you. I have not felt this type of expectation for anything or excitement or joy in like a few years. I don't know if you feel the same way. I have not felt this type of like I'm, I'm looking forward to this in like a few years. And it's been a lot of stuff happening in the past couple of years in our lives. All of us as a collective, but even personally um, for some of us. And to have that sweep over me by the Lord, by his presence, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> if God says to expect something to happen, I'm going to expect it. I'm going to believe it. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to speak it. Like all of these things because if he speaks, I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe him. So some things I, I, I wrote down as well as I was writing this summer often consists of joy. Summer often consists of fun when we think about the summer season. There's a lot of hoping for good things. There's a lot of adventure. Adventure. I want to talk about this word adventure. And I heard the Lord say these things are coming. These things are coming. Now, are they all going to come and be within the summer? Or is it just a whole huge season of summer coming where it just extends and extends and extends? I don't know that. I just I just heard the Lord say summer is coming. Be excited. Be expectant. And look forward to what I'm about to do. And there is adventure in it. There is adventure in it. All right. Second part of this word. As the Lord has us prepare for new things to come, he also desires us to make space for him in areas of our lives that we have yet to give him. So remember the Lord had me reorganize spaces in my home. That was a manifestation in the physical of what the Lord wanted to do within my heart and my soul. He is desiring within us to make space spaces to clear out to declutter things in our hearts that are not not necessarily evil or bad but that are just clogging up what the Lord wants to do so he is actually wanting to move in to these spaces so there's more of him within us and in order for that to happen we have to allow him to pull out the clutter and just clean it up to clean it up. So I started to pray this week. I said, okay, okay, Jesus, I invite you into those spaces in, within me that need decluttering <laughs> and that need to be cleaned up. And I invite you to fill up those spaces with your glory, with your presence, with your joy, and with your love. So that's been my prayer. I ask you to pray about that and make that your prayer as well. So the decluttering and clearing out for new is directed at those parts of us that need cleaning out. I love how the Lord speaks. I love how the Lord speaks. He had me declutter spaces in my home because he was going to tell me that he is decluttering things within me to make room for him to enter those spaces. And I just love how he did. I just love how he communicated that with me. And that's his heart for his children. That's his heart for you. He wants you to make space for him, not only in doing new things that he's about to do, but new things within you. And he's coming in and he's decluttering. He's pulling out those things. And so allow the Lord to continue to do that. 
some of it is exciting some of it might be a little uncomfortable when he's like all right this has been a good thing for you but no longer is this needed in your life i have something else i have my presence to feel this space i'm excited about this summer i hope you are excited about this summer i really think that the summer season is going to extend more than just this summer but adventure adventure the lord is replacing replacing he's taking out a lot of grief and a lot of suffering some of us have been, have been experiencing and he's putting back in us his joy his excitement and his adventure walking with the lord is an adventure being obedient to the lord is an adventure being able to be used by God in ways you've never been used before that are powerful, that we see in the Word of God, is an adventure. As you continue to move forward in obedience to Him, allowing Him to declutter those spaces in your heart, making room for Him, He is going to give you an adventure that is exciting, it is fun to be a part of, and it's humbling to be a part of, that He gets to, that we get to be allowed to be a part of what He is doing. So my prayer for you. Give the Lord permission to declutter your spaces. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.